All right, guys. It's been a couple weeks. Been really busy. Got a lot going on around here, but I figured I'd put a little update on the move up north that's still a couple months out to be completely moved up there. But I'll let you know where I'm sitting right now. Hang out for a minute. All right, so my wife used to drive a 2007, 2007 Chevy Tahoe, two-wheel drive. Two-wheel drive is not going to work up there for her car. She's going to have to have a four-wheel drive. I think there's three, three or four months out of the year where you just need four-wheel drive where we're moving. So we sold the 07 Chevy Tahoe, and we bought an 03 Chevy Tahoe that's four-wheel drive. Now, we went backwards a couple years, so we made a little bit of money. That's a little more money we can use for this move. The other thing, I got a 97 Ford F-250 turbo diesel. It has a 7.3 in it. It can pull about anything out there from what I've been told. I'm not a big mechanic guy, but all the forums online, the mechanics I know, they say that if you're going to get a Ford truck that's diesel, either get the 7.3 or the 6.7. And I can't afford a 6.7, so we got the 7.3. That is an extended cab, so the kids can ride in it if they need to, but it's going to be more or less the, uh, the farm truck kind of thing. My El Camino right behind me. This is also four-wheel drive, so if I need to go somewhere and I don't want to guzzle a bunch of diesel, I can guzzle a bunch of gas. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to sell the Hyundai Sonata that I have. But that's probably a couple months away, maybe right before we move, because we're not going to need it. There's no reason I'm paying insurance and all that for that car. We did pick up another travel trailer. So we've got my studio build that is going to be, right now, a bedroom for me and the wife and a computer room. We got a 27-foot Prowler travel trailer that we're using for the bathroom, full bathroom, full kitchen. And where the queen size bed is, we're going to split that, have a bunk in each side for the kids. Now this is not going to be the most comfortable scenario. I can imagine we're going to get at each other's nerves quite a bit. But hopefully this all works out. We're all on the same game plan to get this house going, get this property cleaned up, and move up there. So we're all just going to be stuck together in a cramped quarters for a while. But let's go out to the trailer and I'll get you a look at the trailer that I'm going to do a little remodel on to make it better for the kids and us to, to stay in. So this is walking in the front door or the side door if you want to call it that, the front door of the trailer I guess. Looking down toward the back is the bathroom. You've got the shower on the side, sink, and a toilet back there. And this whole piece right here with this couch and the table that's all a slide out so that'll all move out I'm guessing this distance right here to be about three feet I guess it moves out about two and a half feet or so so it makes this space a lot bigger you can actually walk like right now you can't walk through there but when it's pushed out it gives a lot more room space to uh, to move around now over here on this end, the front end of the trailer where the tongue is, the tongue is outside that window. This is the master bedroom area, queen size bed, some cabinets, and a little pop-up kind of table thing. Now underneath this bed is the water tank. What I'm planning on doing is removing some of this stuff, take and put a center wall in, and have a bed on each side. So the kids have their separate rooms to go into through this doorway. And this doorway is actually pretty wide because the slide out, if you come back here, 
that's only like half the doorway because this is a slide out. So that's going to move out probably two more feet to actually see that right there is one side of the doorway and that's the other side. So it's actually pretty wide. If you split it right down the middle with a, a little center wall, get two smaller mattresses so they can kind of bunk on each side of that wall and they'll each have a, a window going out there. They'll each have a window going off the side. And then we just make some storage for some of their clothes and some other stuff. Gonna be pretty tight quarters. I don't have this thing plugged in, so I can't turn the lights on. And this door won't open all the way. Actually, maybe some of the lights. So, there's your bathroom. A little 12 volt battery up front, still has some juice. And these are all LED lights, little LED light bulbs that the guy before me, the guy on this trailer before me put all LED light bulbs in. And I've never lived in a travel trailer. Little tiny bathtub down on the bottom. I don't know how I'm going to take a shower in this because my head's almost hitting the ceiling already. But we shall work it out. So it's going to be a little cramped. Well, it's going to be a lot cramped. We do have the studio, like I said, so we'll have our computer stuff over there in the studio, along with mine and my wife's bedroom. Um, I'm headed up there with this trailer this weekend, this coming weekend. I took all the next week off. I've got to get up there. I've got to meet with somebody who can dig the septic. I've got to meet with a water witcher to see where the water is. Uh, I have to basically clear a driveway and I'm hoping that I can get the driveway cleared and possibly get some rock dropped off so that I can leave this trailer up there. I have a couple neighbors that, I mean, they're not super close, we're all on land, but they're willing to kind of keep an eye on the place and make sure nobody breaks into my trailer. I'm not going to leave anything in the trailer. Everything's gonna go back with me except for the trailer. I'm hoping I can leave the trailer there. I'm hoping I get a driveway put in so where I can plop it down and, and leave it there. So that, that way, the next time I go up, I can take the studio and we can kind of work everything going up there a bit at a time, along with getting the well done, the septic done, and the power put into a, a meter. So, more videos to come. Stress level's kind of getting there a little bit. Uh, I'm getting a little worried about how things are going and what I'm going to get done in the next two and a half months. But, it's getting exciting. So, hang out guys. It's all really close to starting. If you want to come along for the ride, hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell for the notifications so you see the next video when it, when it comes out. I can't guarantee they're going to be regular videos. Hit that like button. Later for now, guys. Take it easy.